Hey fishing friends, Josh Miller here, fishing, about to fish a small stream here in Pennsylvania. It's spring, it's beautiful out, I'm lucky to be outside. And I'm gonna be fishing and we have a lot of trees. It's, it can be difficult with obstacles of trees to get your fly to them, but I've learned that fish often feel safe and eat more regularly because I don't think they're pressured or whatever it is, they feel safer near or under trees or under structure. So learning a cast and understanding how you can get your flies to those fish in different ways is really important. But that's not what today's video is. Today's video is about when you do get into the tree. So I'm gonna cast in the tree here. Cast it over the tree. And before you react to that, I see a lot of my anglers cast into the tree. And as fast as their fly goes into the tree, as fast as lightning strikes, they, they react to it and, and it just tangles more or, or solidifies that snag faster. So as you get into a tree, stop, analyze. Analyze everything we do. Take a moment, see what's going on. Okay, my fly draped over that branch. So now my approach is gonna be, I'm gonna pull that fly really slow and hopefully it will just kind of unravel over all the branches. Okay, it did. Sometimes it doesn't work, sometimes it does. But instead of just reacting instantly and pulling quickly, I've found that that isn't as high a percentage as take your time and see what's going on. Landing a fish or fighting a fish, uh, after, or maybe, I, I don't know, it happens. Your line can be way up in a tree, okay? But if you have the ability to grab your fly if it's hanging freely, Instead of pulling it all through the tree and it just potentially getting snagged, I try to grab my fly. And first, I try to pull it all, but that's really snagged in the tree. So what I'm gonna do, if I have multiple flies or an indicator or a dry fly and weight or whatever it is, I just have a single fly on here. But at my cider, I have a small perfection loop or a tipper ring. I like perfection loops because they're free. But what I will do here is, Cut right at the perfection loop. Grab my piece of tippet with my fly and setup. And put that somewhere safe. I'm gonna just, I have a little foam thing here. I'm just gonna hook that there. And now I should be able to freely pull my leader through the tree because there's nothing on my leader. There's no real knots or there's no indicators or whatever. So I should be able to pull that through. And now I, it, it came out of the tree. Now I grab my leader, and now I can just retie that piece of line back onto the perfection loop or tip of ring or, or just the knot, whatever you prefer. But that's kind of an easier way than trying to pull your fly and it's just getting more tangled and more frustrated. I feel like taking your time, react without reacting, pausing, thinking about the situation, could be more productive on the stream and in life. Hope this helps. Have a great day.